Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. We have just arrived on Horizon, and are supposed to explore Sanctuary, which is right here. Uh, also, I did look up the um, the uh, recommended time to um, do the Citadel DLC. I don't know. Come on. Cerberus southbound came from that tower. Then that's hmm. where we're headed. Okay. Well, I'm still going to explore some uh, a little bit, as far as the game allows me. Apparently, the staircase is too broken to to ever use. Oh well. So yeah. Anyway, um, I, from what I read, it seems safe to just do it at the last possible moment, basically. Or I guess I'm gonna do it after after Horizon. From what I read. Uh, at various points, it seems, uh, or it's it's widely considered a bit of a problematic DLC anyway, because it kind of, uh, I don't know, it seems like it has some uh, more light-hearted, silly elements to it. process always sounds kind of bad I don't know um, front desk log civilian processing ratios adults 60% sent to integration children 85% sent to integration several candidates are being assigned to temporary living areas in alphabetical order family units are being preserved for ease of processing okay uh, so yeah I don't know it it's just I, I guess I can see that um, bit of a light-hearted tone Kind of interrupting the more serious nature of the main game, but that's Old fine. security cam footage, people getting sorted out. That's a big crowd. Come on, let's keep looking. Hmm. For fast registration, please follow the instructions of Sanctuary staff. I figure in another week I can finish off the remaining hours on my contract and move from staff housing into Sanctuary itself. I feel a little guilty that I'm getting an upgrade from standard accommodations, but that's the deal. Do your time at the front desk. Get the perks. One more week. Hmm. Well, depending on how old that log entry was, that might not have worked out so well. Okay. A little bit of salvage again. So they were trying to, I don't know, prevent any signals to reach the Reapers in order to prevent alerting them? Yeah, all those transports outside were waiting in line. But where are all the people they brought? Yeah, there really aren't very many bodies at all, except for these Cerberus guys. I mean, if if uh, refugees knew about sanctuary, yeah, both sides. then obviously the Reapers would have known as well. Right? There is no way to keep such a place secret from them. Oh, hi. Sure, I guess. Kill yourselves by throwing yourselves at us. Fine by me. Can I get him like that? Yes. Are you scared? I mean, you should be, but you choose your own fate. Looks like a dead end. We need an exit. Keep looking. I mean, there's an exit over there. At least it looks like one. Pistol scope. Anything I can check here? Nope. Hmm. This is a Cerberus facility. 
Miranda, huh? Shepard. That's Miranda. I mean, without the subtitles, I wouldn't have known, but... This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Thanks. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay. So, we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? No? None? <laughs> Apparently not. That's it. Just some credits. Okay. Well, that's... Um, I guess it shouldn't be a surprise, honestly. Obviously something was fishy about this place. Uh, okay. Water pump. A security panel. Shutting it down. What the hell? What's going on here? I don't know. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Um, I'm not quite sure what James was so shocked about. I don't see anything... Anything too out of the ordinary here? I mean, I don't know what this whole... This Some whole... of this is Reaper tech, Shepard. I'm sure of it. Reaper tech? Cerberus has found a way to create an interface between our technology and the Reapers. Okay. And Rand is caught in the middle. Let's pick up the pace. Huh. I mean, that's interesting. And also troubling. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we got some points. Gonna put them here. Doesn't really matter at all. I'm never going to use this. You can upgrade this, and you can finally max out this. Um, <sighs> no, just straight up damage. Suspiciously quiet. Cerberus and using Reaper technology. This is going to be bad, isn't it? I mean, we knew it was going to be bad. Going in here. Maybe not exactly how bad it was. Hmm. Oh, hi. Almost missed you there. There's gotta be a major fight coming up sometime soon. Or maybe not. Hmm. Whoa, this looks important. Power's out. Look around for a switch. Hmm, I wonder. Where could it be? Definitely not in the center of the room. That would be too obvious. So we're going to switch the lights on and... then be able to see something super shocking in there? Probably? Presumably? Power switch. There. What? 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 What am I seeing here? Th Good those question. are the refugees. The um. Reapers. What, what are they doing? They're killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Um. So Cerberus was creating their own husks. Or are they even cooperating with the Reapers and making husks for them? I don't know. It's pretty crazy either way. Uh huh. Great. I mean, I can deal with husks. But. But why? Come on! I mean, they're not going to break into here, right? No. Why create husks? They're yeah. just more troops for the Reapers. They could destroy the facility if they escaped. It seems like a stupid risk. The Reapers hmm. attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. So I guess they're not not working together. Huh. Personal PDA confirmed unsuitable materials reassigned for, to recycling. Okay. Not sure what that's supposed to tell me. 
Mm, also, if we're expecting Geth, um, not Geth, Husks. Arena? Question is, is she still around here somewhere? Looks like it. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. It should keep them out of the entrance as well. Hmm. Madre, she's gonna get blindsided. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. I mean, do we have any indication as to how old these these recordings are, or was that live footage? I assume the letter, but I don't really know. Hi there. Okay, that <laughs> was a bit closer than I expected. Okay. Sure, and just stop there. Assess the situation. Seems like a good approach. Oh no. That was too far away. Nope. Gotta don't be more where there, they please. came from. Okay. What's this? Hmm. Nothing apparently. You the bastards. Is an unfortunate necessity. Time is very short. I mean, even even if they had some some kind of noble intention to begin with, and I kind of doubt it, but even then, their methods are just inexcusable. We've confirmed the results of Cerberus experiments involving the husk creatures. A crude but necessary first step in decoding how the Reapers communicate. The key is how the Reaper signal interacts with the nanites implanted within the subject's body. It's early yet, but we are making progress. Well, good for you. Reaper forces! Must be left over from the attack! Oh. Great. So not just husks. Oh, come on. Give me a, give me a shot here. Um, Ragnar, far end of the room. Would, have, would have loved to I get that him. guy as he was falling down awkwardly. Um, that. Headshot, please. Uh, did I hit? I don't think I did. No, she's wailing. Okay. There we go. Well, that doesn't seem to bother her all that much. A little bit, maybe. Oh. Please stay in cover. Thank you. Okay, I guess it's time to get some first aid. Uh, please reload. Thank you. That missed somehow. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, punch her dead. Might die, actually. That was worth it. Okay, cool. We're fine. Everything's good except this camera angle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that guy actually needs to go. Or he might leave his advantageous position and just jump down. That's That works as well. Okay. Everything's good. Everything's fine. So what's here, then? Just an alternate way? Yeah. Man, that was... <laughs> that was not very clean. The sound is just that thing moving back and forth here. What even is that? Some kind of transportation? Hmm. Are you going to use that? 
if we can ever make it to that upper layer. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, maybe it's not something we can or want to enter. No, I guess not. So that's where we were. Oh, hi. You are not an enemy, apparently. Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross-species equivalents is most effective and efficient. Are you seeing this? What they did to these people? It's sick. Yep. Yeah. It is. There's no other way to put it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna use a first aid here. Um, no. Just please that. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. Dragon's teeth? The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed mm -hmm. conversion to the final husk state. Okay. Uh, this is the place we were before, right? Yeah. Okay then. Um, if you can please move out of the way. Um, thank you. Search the perimeter. Figure out how Reaper indoctrination. Yes. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Reaper's wanted the place shut down. Maybe we'll get some answers. It doesn't make sense. Thought Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. <laughs> what changed? You got it, Commander. Heading to the tower to disable the communications scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? Bait and switch. Can't believe it. She said that shipments were sent to the elusive man. Maybe we can use that to find him. Good catch. No, please tell me we can. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. And apparently this facility here was led by Miranda's father, but... Ultimately, it's still the elusive man who's uh, was behind all this, right? So that that guy has it coming. Progress update: Rejected subjects have proven useful for preliminary genetic testing. The death rates are 100%, of course, of course. But the data being gathered is critical to improving subsequent testing on viable subjects. Note: Only approval, uh, only approved personnel with Alpha 3 and above level security clearance are allowed access to the gen to the genetic waste testing area. Be aware that security breaches of any kind will result in immediate contract termination. Well, if that's all you're, you're worried about working here, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Do I even want any research data I find here? Ugh. There we have our upper level. Oh, okay, and we have plenty of enemies. I guess we want to destroy these things ahead of time. Just in case. Okay, where are all those enemies, though? Maybe they haven't seen us yet. Kind of want to know if it's husks or Tight something corner. else. Check your fire. Hmm. Well, it's kind of tight quarters. Over here. Okay. Can deal with cannibals, no problem.
of you. And that is that. Okay, at least for the time being. Look like there is probably another one of those uh, shield generators somewhere here, though, maybe? No? Hmm. Uh, Locust. That's a uh, submachine gun. Okay. I guess I have been complaining that I've found, that I've found too little, too few of those. Huh? Too little. Shotgun blade attachment. Eh. Is he? Uh, internal memo, streamlining procedures. In an effort to streamline our waste elimination process, a high-grade liquefaction, uh, liquefaction compound has been added to our alkaline hydrolysis disposal systems. Uh, our goal is to ensure that our processing system can meet the expected processing ratios as more subjects arrive at this facility. As a result, personnel must wear level 4 hazmat suits at all times while in the disposal area. So they don't get accidentally accidentally liquidified li liquefied Ugh. I guess the idea is then if when you're already doing unspeakable horrors to to sentient beings of your own species no no less um, you might as well go all the way right no reason to hold back anymore creating these husk creatures was our first success. While not true husks, they still respond to Reaper signals. More work ahead, but we are moving forward. Great. We're very close. Understanding the indoctrination process is one thing. However, turning it to our advantage is proving to be quite another. This is assembly line science. The sheer brute force of numbers and repetition is doing the thinking for us. Effective, mean? but discovery happens at a pace. Not to mention at a price. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. Did I hear that right? This guy knows how to control Reaper troops? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. I mean, the Reapers themselves were no, never... We know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They must have discovered what Cerberus was doing. That's bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Yeah, hopefully. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Commander. There's more. Take a look. Uh-oh. Damn it. I hope she's ready for it. I mean, she should be, right? Can he really be... Can can Kaleng really be worse than Miranda when she gets angry? And she's pretty angry, I suppose. Oh. How did you get up here so fast? Uh, so uh, anyway, um... Finish my train of thought from earlier. More Reaper troops! Uh, I mean, as potentially use very useful as it sounds to maybe be able to uh, control Reaper troops, take them away from the Reapers, basically, and turn them against them. Obviously, that seems... Seems pretty amazing, but well, not at not at any cost, not at at the cost of what they've been doing here. And also, I don't know that idea about being able to control the Reapers themselves. Uh, I mean, I, sure, it, it seems tempting, maybe, but uh, the Reaper troops have always been—they've been designed to be 
remote control, right? So hacking into that connection, please escape that thing, thank you. Hacking into that connection and and hijacking them um, is one thing, but the Reapers? They are not designed to be remote controlled. They're intelligent beings. I mean, presumably intelligent. Oh, we're not done. So, I don't know. That should not be possible. At least not using the same method. Oh, hi. Didn't expect you. Oh, camera is kind of freaking out here. Can you please just take out the last guy here? Oh, there's one more. Not just more and more. It always... I don't know. It always seems like these guys take forever to kill. When I'm probably just not shooting the vulnerable parts enough. Okay. There we go. Tommy's back up. Um, kind of want to shoot these things just in case. I mean... Not because I... Watch it. What? What is it? Not because there are any kind of threat, but, you know, just because I want them destroyed. They're disgusting. Didn't I see a Cerberus soldier here? I guess he must have been killed by the Reapers. Good riddance, I say. Ammo that I think I can use. What's in here? Oh, hi. Hmm. I guess stay in there if you want to. Gestation pod. Okay. Oh! That's... Don't scare me like that. Jesus. Hmm. Lots of nooks and crannies to search here. Medical station? Oh. Sure, let's use that through the wall. Sounds legit. What? Oh, I didn't see that. Crap. We have underestimated the strength of the Reaper signal. They are here. The Reapers somehow know what we've learned about them. They have a weakness. I'm compiling our research data to archive before it's too late. Cerberus sent troops to defend the facility against the Reapers. That's all he wrote. Or said, actually. Starting command sequence. Releasing husks. Kim Hove. What's happening? Oh my god. This is our way out. What is our way out? This? Oh that, yeah, of course. Anything down here? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. This is our way out. Yeah, yeah. I got it the first time. Thank you. Okay, this le leads us here finally. So we are using this thing. Don't know. I got. Looks like it's waiting for us. Convenient. This will get us closer to the tower. So this is. I don't know what this is. So can we just use this to cross over? No. Blow this open. If I can hit it. Should I worry about those guys down there? Maybe not. Okay. 
But this thing can turn, right? I hope it's not gonna do that. Or else... It's not gonna... Work out so well for us. Okay. This way. All right. What? Oh. It's a brute doing something. Just wrecking the place. I mean, I guess I. What? It's those oh, big hi. bastards. Stay out of their reach. Yeah, I mean they're they actually take surprisingly uh, little damage to take down. Although this one seems a bit more meaty. Banshee, really? I don't know what you're doing there, Tali, but it's not very smart. Nice one. Nope, I've missed. Hold still. There we go. Okay, one more. There we go. Uh, what about that brute? Oh. Okay, James seems preoccupied with getting there. All right, now he's here. I see a doorway. Let's what? move. Where do you see a doorway? Here. <laughs> You're okay. I think Tully's AI might be broken a little bit. I'm sure it's going to fix itself quite quickly. This pod status. Um, do I want to activate this? Oh, pod one for material present. Pod two integrity. Uh, pod integrity compromised. Subject deactivated. These pods. Hmm. Oh, for material. Uh. Oh, you can just... no. Never mind, you cannot just blow that up. So is there a way to open them? So it looks like there is maybe a, a new weapon in there. Hmm. Wait. Did I... Oh, beep. Pod manual override? Ah, uh, okay, I see. Hmm. Well, maybe I should have paid attention to the fact that the thing didn't open all the way, although it seems dead enough to me. Can't override you. Because it's it's broken, obviously. And here we have the saber. Okay. Assault rifle, probably. Please finish reloading. There we go. What are you doing? Okay, well, there's obviously a door here. Tower access granted. Okay, up we go. Um, my friends somehow teleported after me. That's fine. Can't of course, wait. they can do that. What? What's going on? Shepard. Hey. A Commander oh! Shepard. Excellent timing. And you're here too. Put the gun Where's down. Where's Kai Ling? No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's <sighs> poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm or sorry just she common missed. sense, maybe? Where's Kai Ling? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Really? Miranda. 
Can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Leng didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary, now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. Um, I mean, I, I want to save her, of course. That should be priority number one. I can always hunt him down later, if that's what it, what it's come to, uh, what it comes down to. Legacy. No, I mean, I'm gonna pick the, the the paragon option here just because it's there. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right. Take her. But I want out alive. Deal. Um. Thanks. <laughs> no deal. For once I agree with you, Miranda. Did he hurt you? Are you alright? It's okay, Ori. I almost expected Shepard to object there. Now. To her methods. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. We you could have break. told me about all this a Are bit you all right? sooner, you know? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Yeah. You seemed a bit surprised there for a second. But obviously you're alive. Hmm. I mean, I could have helped. I would Miranda, have helped. this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. Yeah, and Cerberus right. is involved in it. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Eh, I mean... Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. Uh, well, no. I... I, I understand. do understand. But someone should actually check if he's really it's dead. It's finally over. Just in For case. both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? I mean, not from the Any Reapers. Any intel we can use from this place? The research data is gone, but I've still got basic facility information, like shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. It's not a direct link, but it's something to work with. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. Sweet. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but... <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is... exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get hmm. the scratch cleaned up. Good luck finding a safe okay. place. I've got to follow all this up. I mean, seriously, good I'll luck. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. <laughs> Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communications, Grandma. I mean, it's disabled. not like... Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. Yeah, this is a it's not like this place is Cortex. posing any more to danger to anyone, <laughs> except for the remaining Reapers. I've had enough of this place. But it's also not really going to do them much good. Although, I guess now that Cerberus is no longer using this to do unspeakable crimes... I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. 
Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. Absolutely. What they learned about the Reavers wasn't worth all those lives. No. That's Maybe. useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reavers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Yep. I couldn't agree more. Uh, so, yeah. I, anyway, at this point... I guess they're really... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, the Reapers wouldn't expect Sanctuary to actually become a Sanctuary now, right? But, as I said earlier, I was starting to say, now that Cerberus isn't using it to do its experiments anymore, Sanctuary could actually be turned into a, a place for refugees to be somewhat safe, at least for some time. Anyway, someone would have to do some major cleanup there before... Anyone would want to stay there, though. Let's see here. Alliance 6th Fleet. The Alliance 6th Fleet was traveling through Council Space when Earth was invaded. The men and women on board watched helplessly as footage of the de devastation rolled in. Their last order from Admiral Hackett was to avoid engagement and lay in reserve. After waiting for so long, the 6th Fleet is eager to finally engage the enemy. Okay. When and how did we unlock that? Not quite sure. Alliance 5th Fleet. Um, pair of entrepreneurs. Service encryption codes are helping the Alliance predict where service is headed next. Right, that that one we did find. Okay, ex Cerberus. Miranda? Yes. Miranda Lawson is an ex Cerberus operative. At Cerberus, her intelligence, dedication, and leadership impressed the elusive man who assigned her to head the Lazarus cell team that brought Commander Shepard back to life. Lawson brings extensive knowledge of the elusive man's dealings to the Alliance, directing them towards several clandestine, clandestine uh, Cerberus operations. A skilled shot and a gifted biotic, Lawson is as comfortable in a pitched battle as she is in a boardroom. Cool. Okay. So, I mean, apart from all the horrors we discovered during that mission, it all turned out very much all right. Kind of soldier looks at a camp that turns people into husks and goes, "Yeah, I want to help with that." Exactly. The same guy that lets I mean, a stick Reaper tech into his skull. Those bastards aren't human anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. Oh. Well, damn. Maybe I shouldn't have taken her. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Commander? Is mail from Miranda, maybe? No, not yet. Uh, from Alliance News Network Information Partners. Pelavin, the Turian hierarchy, one of the most powerful and respected ground forces in the galaxy, are today pr uh, paying respects to an unlikely ally, the Marines of the Quarian fleet. The weakened immune systems of the Quarians normally means their forces are restricted to ships, but when an emergency technical team was required to repair a ground-based comm relay, providing vital intel to the Turian military, one Quarian squad stepped up. Commanded by squad leader Cal Rigar, the Quarian team repaired the comm system, then sacrificed their lives, holding the position until Krogan troops arrived. When Turian troops offered to provide evac support, Rigar refused, insisting they could not risk the relay falling. He said multiple breaches to their exosuits made evacuation impossible. We're all dead anyway, Rigar reportedly said. Just make them pay for it. A spokesman for Primarch Victus praised the squad's bravery. Whatever our past politics, today the galaxy stands together against a single threat, Victus said. We are humbled by the sacrifice of our allies from Rannoch, and we promise to return the honor. Well... Oh. It's a little consolation to the dead. I mean, there is no consolation to the dead, but, you know, you know what I mean. Hello? Why is it quiet? Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've yeah. always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? 
I really have no idea. I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. <laughs> Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. Let's hope so. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Sure, go ahead. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. Huh. Well, I mean, that's... That's a little ray of hope inside of that all that giant mess. Hmm. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability I mean, I of success know. was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I'm going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? <laughs> Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I, I think of so. Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. A bit late, but sure. How's it going? I miss anything good? Uh, well, yeah. I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. <laughs> I would like a moment to myself, Shepard. I am examining human literature. Okay. You done? Hello, Shepard. Hmm. Commander. Let's hope I don't get stuck. Okay, good. Whew. Well then, not sure how much longer it's going to take, but I'm probably going to, to end this episode once I'm done checking up on everyone. Um, yeah. Hey, there you are. Can you feel it, Shepard? Feel the quickening? Uh, the elusive man better say oh, his that, prayers that tonight. Quickening. Yep. Because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tide is turning. I feel it. Man, I sure hope you're right. <sighs> Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. Ready for the next mission. Whatever you got. Well, he seems pretty pissed at the elusive man. And for good reason, obviously. Uh, kind of want to bring him along for that one again and I mean I I could why shouldn't I there's no one here right no reason to check could also oh never mind right I was told she was here derp Shepard want a drink I'm toasting Miranda I think uh, how um, are you getting drunk does alcohol even work on you carefully uh. Torian brandy Triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency <laughs> induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. 
I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. Yeah, I mean, what are you what are you trying to say? Despite her perfect genes and her attitude, she still managed to to stop her father. I mean, shouldn't all those things make it even possible in the first place? I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. Yeah. I didn't like her, Kila. She was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Hmm. So, I don't know, when, when they said that she, she uh, had trouble with uh, what she saw, or what we saw down on the horizon, I, I thought... I thought this was going to be about the cruelties and the the things Cerberus did, but apparently it's more about her own uh, her own relationship to her own father. Ah, uh. don't ah uh, me. You sound like a vorcha. Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting your father. I spent my life trying to live up to him, then making up for his mistakes. Doing what he'd have wanted? It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port, you know. I'm having a drink with my boyfriend. My human boyfriend. <laughs> My father would have hated you. Here's to him, then. And to Miranda. Uh, nice sure. job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kila Solai. Uh, yeah. Kila Solai. Cheers. Mm, yeah, I, I would like to actually have a drink with her, but all I can do is awkwardly walk away. In silence. Let's just pretend. Uh, a little bit more happened there. Please enjoy your day. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Yeah, I mean, she should be okay now. I mean, as okay as anyone in this galaxy can be right now, but. At least uh, she and her her sister are not going to be hunted by their crazy father anymore. <clears throat> so the elusive man really believes he can control reapers. Husks oh. are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. I mean, he isn't quite there yet, but he was trying to do so, apparently. I mean, I can see why that's appealing, but I don't, just don't see how that's possible. A lot of Turians went to Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. Okay. Gonna make sure not to blow it up too hard then. Good to see you. Any comment on those experiments, maybe? Good to see you, Commander. No? Good to see you, Commander. Hmm. A bit frosty after I didn't back you there last time, huh? Hmm. So this place... Uh, never mind. I, I keep forgetting that Javik is also here. So I was going to say that this is going to be a little bit empty without Tali here. Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship. It's cruel. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Well, I Something guess I like did. that. But then you were resurrected. 
to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. <laughs> but you you're looking at that way. Else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Quarian are joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Um, I mean, both. Obviously, I need to kill the Reapers for, for anyone to still be around in the foreseeable future. But, um, I mean, if the Reapers weren't threatening to destroy to destroy all life in the galaxy, I wouldn't feel the need to kill them, but obviously they're doing that, so... But yeah, I'm primarily doing it for everyone. Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. Is there? What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier. Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Hmm. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Um, well, that's a tough question. I'm gonna say yes. I mean, you have to know that there is something you're not remembering in the first place, right? I don't know. Yes. If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the Ice Canals of Judah IV, the Palisades of the Verom Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... Don't break that thing. You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Until the battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That must have been necessary. It was the day I understood. <laughs> War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson. I wish I had never learned. Wow. That was more grim than I expected, even from Javik. The crew seems shocked by the experiments at Sanctuary. They shouldn't be. Mm, Why is yes, that? they should. Our war lasted for centuries. It provided more time for worse atrocities to be committed. There was a species, the Densorian. They became convinced the Reapers could be placated by sacrificing their own young. <laughs> the entire planet joined in this ritual. I would spare you the details, but it did not work. They simply made the Reapers' job easier. It was as your elusive man is now. His ambitions are nothing short of madness. Sharpen your knife, Commander. His is a voice that must be silenced, and a throat that must be slit. Well, again, I couldn't be... 
I couldn't agree more. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to take Javik and Caden with me. They both seem uh, pretty determined. Subjugating the Reapers will not bring to kill that guy. Only their extinction will. Right, Commander. I mean, not that I don't believe anyone else. Everyone else on my crew is just as determined to finish off Cerberus once and for all. Nothing to report, Commander. Well, that's unfortunate. You're working by the shuttle. Just one more diagnostic suite. Sir. Okay. But at least James should have something to say on on Horizon, right? I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, did he? I mean, he's still fucking crazy. The Reaper damn. creatures, not the Reapers themselves. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Just one more reason to hate them. I can't wait to take the fight to the elusive man. I wonder what he's thinking right now. You just know he's got a plan. Yeah, I mean, he usually does. I saw the crucible data Hackett sent. I don't know what the hell it does, but damn if it isn't impressive. Hey. Okay. Well, <clears throat> See what the journal says. Cerberus headquarters. The Elusive Men's headquarters have been located, and the Alliance is prepared to attack to recover the Prothean VI that holds the key to the catalyst. Once the attack is launched, the Alliance will be fully committed to the final fight against the Reapers. Assault the base when ready. Well, I mean, I really should do that first and foremost, but I don't know. Hmm. I don't think that's the point of no return. So I don't know. I, I might have more. I might have another opportunity to do the Citadel DLC after that. But I think I want to just get that over with. Get that out of the way. So I can finish on actually finishing the main game. So unless someone uh, comes comes up with some very convincing arguments not to do that. I That's my plan for now. Um, but yeah. Anyway, this is the end of this episode. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.